All right, welcome to my Star Wars Mandalorian skins gameplay and review. So just yesterday, we got some brand new Mandalorian items, the IG-11 droid skin. Then we got the Moff Gideon bundle. And then lastly, sold separately or in the IG-11 bundle is Grogu. So I already did a full gameplay and review on the Grogu backbling plus how it's reactive, but I'll show it again briefly in this video as well. So we're going to focus on Moff Gideon as well as the IG-11 bundle. So this bundle is 2,100 V-Bucks. Obviously, you get the droid himself, you get the Lego version, you get the Grogu back bling, and then you get the IG droid destructor pickaxe. The Moff Gideon bundle is 2,500. He comes with two different styles, which I'll show you in the locker. His Lego skin does not have the helmet on. He comes with a jetpack and then the Force Lance, which has a built-in emote. So that's pretty cool. The emote is not with Moff Gideon, it's with the pickaxe. And this is it right here, the Force Lance Flourish. So you can equip this on anyone and get the built-in emote. And then he's got the Gideon's Wrath Wrap, which is reactive. Sold separately, he's 1500. The Force Lance with the built-in emote is 1200. So a little pricey there, but again, it's a built-in emote. The Wrap is 500. The IG Droid Pickaxe is 800. IG 11 himself is 1500. And as we saw, Grogu is 600. So not bad on the prices. So one thing I want to note real quick, in this video right here, which is in the news feed, it shows IG-11 sparking. You can see right there, he sparks, and then he kind of breaks down. I don't know if that's a secret reactivity or if that was just part of the trailer that they showed, but as far as I know, you can't do that. We're going to test and see if it's possible, but I'm not 100% sure how to do that. So let's start with Moff Gideon himself. It says only he can seize the Fallen Empire's legacy. So in the show, Mandalorian, he has the Darksaber. So I was a little disappointed that they didn't bring that, but we've never had a lightsaber as a pickaxe, so it's understandable. So his armor is amazing. I'd say if you missed out on the Mandalorian, this is as close as you're ever going to get to that amazing Beskar suit. This just looks incredible. He's got that awesome red on the helmet, and then a dark red for the cape and on the shoulders. It's just a phenomenal looking skin. However, the bad part is he comes with the cape, and you can't remove it. That is a permanent cape. So any backbling you put on is going to go over the cape and you'll never be able to take that off. So he does have a secondary no helmet style and that is none other than Gus from Breaking Bad, which is absolutely amazing. Of course, that's who plays Moff Gideon in the show as well. So it makes sense. So his actual backbling kind of looks a bit strange. It would look way better if you could take the cape off, but no dice there. We'll have to see if that's reactive. His pickaxe is called the Force Lance. It says bring order to the galaxy. It does have a nice purple glow there. And we don't have a glider, so I'm just going to use the Beskar Umbrella. All right, here we go. Hey, it looks like my friend Venompool just joined. So again, I don't really have a glider for him, so I just chose the Beskar. He often actually reminds me of the Mandalorian, just from our gaming perspective, because you don't see from the front, and it looks like he's just wearing a shiny suit of Mandalorian armor. Okay, let's do the pickaxe pullout sound first, and I'll swing it as well. Here you go. So that is an extremely slow pullout sound, and it kind of glitches in the cape. Another reason we should be able to take that cape off. But the contrail looks pretty sweet. Obviously, it's got a lot of electricity to it, which looks awesome. Let's try a splash effect. Oh yeah, that's a nice purple spark. Very clean all around. Holy smokes, does it glow in the dark? Look at that. That's incredible. All right, let's try it versus an actual player here. You can also see the jetpack. Oh, he's doing the emote. That's pretty sweet. Let's do that as well. That's actually really cool. I like this pickaxe for sure. Wait, he put it away? Hold on, does this pull out the pickaxe? Oh my goodness, I think it does. I didn't even realize that. That is bright. That looks really cool. All right, how about his aim down sights? Okay, that's not too bad. The helmet is not that distracting at all. You can clearly see over the top and to the left. You get a little bit of red there when you zoom in. The wrap, as you can see, has that nice purple electricity flowing through it. It's not bad at all. That's going to look great on the wrap skin. I can already tell. And here he is from the front. Such a phenomenal looking red and black color scheme. Very glossy all around. 
The only thing that would make this skin better is if you could take that cape off. Cape does have nice physics, as you can see. Flows perfectly. All right, let's get in the limb and see if anything happens here. Nope, doesn't look like any reactivity there. Okay, so I put the jetpack on now, and then I took the helmet off. So I don't know how to feel about that jetpack on the cape. Like I said, it would be way better if you could remove the cape, but we can't. Aim down sights is a lot more clean now without the helmet, but like I said, it didn't look that bad before. And there's just a phenomenal resemblance to the actor there that is perfect. So all around, he looks like a true villain, and I love it. This is a great looking skin, very clean. In fact, the aim down sights is better than the Mandalorian. His Beskar shoulder pad sticks out a lot, and this one doesn't look that bad at all. So let's see if the jetpack is reactive. I doubt it, but we're gonna see if any of these lights flash. Here we go. Well, it was kind of hard to tell because I couldn't have a backwards perspective, but I don't think any of those moved at all. So I think he looks good either way, without the helmet or with the helmet. I prefer him with the helmet, but that's always nice to have that option to remove it. And again, you can see the jetpack in the dark. Looks like it always has three lights on both sides for some reason. Okay, so that is a pretty solid skin. Let's try IG-11 now. Okay, so wow, he does look pretty good with Grogu on his back there. That fits perfectly. So this is a bounty hunting droid. Not a robot, but a droid. So it looks like his head spins around a full 360. I'm pretty sure it did that in the show as well. So he's always on the lookout. Let's take a look at his aim down sights real quick. So the Moth Gideon wrap is not too bad on him. I personally wouldn't run it. Now it looks like his neck area still continues to spin around, but it looks like his head stopped spinning. It's now only looking in front. So that's interesting. So a full 360 when you're not zoomed in, but then when you are, he only focuses on your target in front. Now his aim down sights is a little strange just because he doesn't really have a head. It's just more like a totem pole of parts. It's not too bad, though. I don't see anything really bulky about it. I think Moff Gideon's is way better, though. Let's take a look from the front. So he doesn't seem to do anything special when you emote. Let's do the pickaxe pull out and swing. Here you go. Okay, so not really a contrail here. It looks like it does light up red just a little bit. Let's see if there's a splash. Oh wow, no splash. That's kind of strange. Here he is in the dark. Again, you can see all the lights lighting up. You get a little bit of that in the contrail, but not much. From the front again, all the red little lights there. Okay, let's try hitting an actual player with this. Well, that doesn't seem to do anything. You can see Baby Grogu, by the way, is reactive to damage. He's eating his cookie there, and then boom! He's like, hey, why did you hit me? Poor little guy. All right, let's try weak spots with this. Ooh, it turns red. Did you see that? So, okay, we got to turn the lights off. Let's see what exactly glows red. So it's already glowing red right there, but when you hit a weak spot... Looks like the ends glow. Boy, that was real brief. Let's try again. Yeah, they fade away quick, but it does change your contrail as well. Let's try that again. Yeah, so you can see the red and then it quickly fades to white. I wonder if it's the more weak spots you hit, the longer it stays. I don't know. We'll hit a bunch in a row. Let's see if the splash changes. I didn't check that. Okay, no, that does not appear to change. So just the contrail. All right, let's hit multiple in a row and see if it lasts longer. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. No, it still fades away really, really quick. So that's a cool reactivity, but it's just very, very brief. All right, let's deal some damage with this droid and see what happens. So I didn't see anything there, let alone shocking, like we saw in that trailer. 
So it's not a bad skin. We'll have to go into a real match and check maybe if we get downed. I'll have to try that and see because I'm not sure how you would make him spark other than getting knocked and him crawling around. All right, here's a better look at the wrap skin. So someone else has joined my map. What the heck? So let's turn the lights off real quick. So when you swing, obviously it's going to light up purple. Same thing for when you shoot. So that's pretty sweet. That's a lot of purple right there. It's just a strange color scheme. You don't normally see purple with black and red. I thought everything was going to glow red. Like all the red parts would glow, but no. It is this nice flowy purple. So that's pretty cool. It's just a little unexpected with that color scheme. So not too shabby of a wrap. And otherwise, the color scheme is just jet black with that maroonish red. Not bad. So real quick, again, on the reactivity on Grogu. If you damage him, he reacts. If you open a chest, he gets super excited. Watch this. So that's really cool. Someone said if you pick up weapons, he reacts. But I couldn't get that to work. You can see he's not doing anything there. And then if you glide, he throws his hands up in the air. And when you land for the first time on the map, he does throw up. I don't know if it's going to work on my map, but I'll show you in a real game. Let's see. He gets sick, and then he throws up everywhere. Oh, here he goes. Blah, right there. So that's pretty sweet. And then randomly, he'll throw up as well. So normally, it's just when you glide and land, but he doesn't always do it. All right, here we go. Initial landing. I'm going to see if Grogu throws up. Here he goes. Blech. Gross. Okay, here we go. Let's jump off. Let me see where you're at. You're right down there. Okay, here we go. Gonna get a running start. Whee! Well, I didn't see anything. No static whatsoever. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I get revived. Still nothing there. So there you go. That is Moff Gideon, IG-11, and the Grogu Backblade. So overall, I was really impressed with these skins. I couldn't get the IG-11 droid to do that shocking animation in the video, so I don't think that's a real thing. But it's kind of weird. Like, why would they show that if he can't really do that? But his pickaxe is secretly reactive. I wasn't expecting that. Grogu's got tons of reactivity. The only disappointing part about any of these items is the fact that you can't take off Moff Gideon's cape. I feel like they should have done that, but it's a permanent fixture to the skin. And then the Force Lance pickaxe for him was really cool as well. The built-in emote is actually pretty awesome. You can deploy the pickaxe with it, and you can also put the pickaxe away with it, which is pretty cool. The wrap, as you saw, is a weird color scheme, but it is reactive, and it's truly nice. So there you go. I think these are some of the better Mandalorian-themed skins that we've had in-game yet. I'm very impressed with Moff Gideon. I think he's the better skin. But IG-11's accessories, the pickaxe, plus obviously Grogu, phenomenal. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about these skins, and which one do you like better? So there you go, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.